Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. This will be my final vlog before I head off to Florida. This vlog is probably going to be a lot of kind of running errands, packing, doing last minute things before I go away on my trip. Sometimes I do a packing video over on my other channel when I've got time but on this particular occasion I really don't. I'm very very up against it for getting myself ready to go. I've just had a lot of things going on, I've had a lot of work and stuff to get done and this one is a bit of a last minute kind of push to get myself ready in the next couple of days because I've only got a couple of days now until I go and on that note I just wanted to mention the sponsor of this video which is Skillshare and on the note of what I'm experiencing at the moment with this crazy lead up one of the things that I've been focusing on a lot recently is productivity and trying to get myself more organized trying to manage my time a lot better and Skillshare is a creative online learning platform I've talked about them before you guys know I love Skillshare I started using it ages ago and it's my go-to for anything creative when I need to learn something new figure something out they have thousands of classes on everything that would come under the kind of creative umbrella and quite often you think of creative as like crafting or hobbies and things like that and they certainly do have a lot of classes on those topics but they also have so many other things like productivity running a small business if you have like an Etsy store or something or a YouTube channel trying to improve your social media then they have all kinds of other classes about web design and photography, photography using your phone, anything you can think of they have got you covered. I absolutely love it and the class that I've recently done is Productivity Today, Finding Your Flow for Maximum Productivity which is absolutely perfect for what I've been dealing with with all the busyness and everything else that's been going on. It's a very short class, that's the other thing that's great is some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, you can dip in and out, you don't have to do the whole thing in one go so if you are ever finding yourself short on time it's perfect because the class that I've been doing is short and it also is helping me to make better use of my time. And that particular class that I've just done is by Kevin Siska. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description or my code Victoria in detail will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So be sure to check that out and get your free trial, whether you're just looking for a new hobby, you've got something specific that you would like to learn how to do, learn a new skill. Maybe you're just interested to go and take a look, look through all the classes. There's definitely something for everyone on Skillshare. So be sure to click on that link and and get the free trial. I am getting started on this packing. I thought I'd just show you the outfits I'm going to be taking. Probably most of this I can get into one packing cube. It looks like a lot but I've got a really big packing cube so we'll see if it all fits in. So I've got two pairs of pyjamas. These are the Primark ones that I really like, the really soft fabric. So I've got that pair and my trusty navy blue ones. I've had these for ages and you can see that obviously these ones are a little bit older but they've just been washed hundreds of times and they never seem to wear out like a lot of Primark stuff does so I love those PJs. Then I have this black polka dot dress from Pour Moi. I will link my LTK shop in the description and you'll be able to find this dress on there. Then I have this play suit that my mum made. I love the colours on this one. Then I have my green one, which I didn't wear on the last trip. I think I wore it the time before. I tend to try and rotate these things. I have this one, which is actually new. This is a dress from Boohoo and I love the colours. I have a pair of ears in the owner's locker that will be absolutely perfect with that. Then I have this play suit, which is navy with the stars and my mum made this one. I have the dress here which has got the mint green polka dots on it. This one was also from Boohoo. My mum has adapted it though. It did have sleeves on which she has removed because it looked better without the sleeves. It looks brown here but it is actually black. The other thing with this one is it does crease really badly. It doesn't feel like the type of fabric that would crease but it does so I've made my peace with the fact that I might have to iron that when we get there. Then I have my new lemon dress which I'm absolutely in love with. I've got that for the flower and garden festival and Becky is making me some ears to go with it which I'll show you a bit later when we go around there to see Becky and then I have this black one which has got this really nice lace trim around the shorts and the sleeves and that one I'll probably wear with a red belt and my red converse and some red ears I just love that one it's a really nice fit then I do just have two backup play suits this is kind of my trusty red one that I love and I also have this one. They're not scheduled to be worn. I may not need them, but just in case, you never know. 
and then I have the blue version of that pour moi dress which will be my travel day outfit and I'll wear that with a denim jacket. So that's all of the clothes I'm taking for an eight night trip. Like I say, I do plan out every single outfit. I don't really take hardly anything else. I've just got those two backup play suits, but that is it. I stick to what I've decided I'm gonna wear. And most of the ears I think are in the owner's locker, but there are a couple of pairs which I'm gonna be taking with me. I did finally find the annual pass holder pair that I bought. These didn't feature in the haul video because when I went to film it, I couldn't find them and they have turned up. So these are the new ones I bought on the trip that I've just been on. They might be really nice with this when I go to Disney Springs the first night that we arrive. So perhaps I'll take those to wear with that. I will take these pink ones. I will link these in the description. These were from Ears Ever After and those go really nicely with this play suit underneath. Um, again, I may not need it, but I want to take these ears just in case I do end up wearing that. And here are some of the other ears that I have. So I have this pair that I absolutely love, which will go with this polka dot dress. I like to put these in a separate bag because they're this kind of um, faux leather stuff. If you put them in with other pairs, you can get um, like indentations on the back of them. So I just like to kind of wrap those up separately. Then I have the red ones that I'll probably wear with this lace trim play suit. I have the coral ones which are perfect with this play suit. Thinking about it, I may not need these blue ones now if I'm going to take the pass holder ones because that's what I was going to wear um, is those so I can probably take these out. Then for shoes, I have the red converse, the white converse and the black converse. This is what I always wear in the parks. These are the most comfortable shoes for me to wear. And obviously I just like to have my few different color choices. And then I also just have my Haviana's Luna sandals, which I love. The other one is here somewhere. I seem to only have one. And most of my park bags are already in the owner's locker, but I do have the iridescent lounge fly here. So that will be coming along as well. In fact, a lot of the things that I use are in the owner's locker. So that's why it might seem like I don't have too much stuff here because a lot of it stays out in Florida. I do have my four-way plug, which has the American plug on it. So that's always really handy. Then I just have underwear, swimsuit, makeup and stuff to still go in. Um, but really, there's not much other stuff that I need to take. Most of the things, apart from my things I can't put in until the last minute, like my hair stuff, uh, my straighteners and things like that. There's a hair dryer in the room, so I don't need to take one of those. I just need to get all of this into the packing cube and start putting it in the case and then we'll be making some good progress. And all of the items of clothing have fitted easily into this cube. I will link this if I can still find it. It's quite a big packing cube. And I find, obviously, I've probably put, what, 10 play suits and dresses in there and two pairs of pyjamas. And it's all very easily fitted inside. So that's really good. Now I just need to get this and all the shoes and everything into the case. It is now the next day. I'm in the car. As you can see, I've just parked up. Um, I've come into town to pick up my boots order. I placed an order for, I'd run out of foundation and it's really difficult to get the shade that I use at the moment. And there were a couple of other things I needed. Normally I would just get it delivered, but with me being short on time, there was no guarantee it was gonna get here in time. So I did the collect at store option. So I've just come in to get that. And there are a couple of other things that I've thought of since that I need to get just some travel products and stuff. So I'll go to Superdrug as well. I might just grab myself a quick coffee, although I don't have all of the time in the world for things like that. Um, sometimes you do just need to take a second because I have been rushing around doing all this packing and everything else. So yeah, I might just grab myself a little costa i haven't actually eaten anything today either so i might get pastry or something just quickly do that and then it's back home again to finish off some more editing and some more packing so i'm now in costa i've got my coffee i'm not gonna spend too long in here they didn't have um very many like sandwiches and stuff today i don't know if they'd like missed a delivery but there was not a lot of option but i did get this chocolate pecan slice thingy which would not ideally be what i would eat for lunch but there was very little option so i'm gonna give this a go i'll let you know if it's any good yep thumbs up it is good very very nice okay we're back at the car i do apologize for this angle um i've got you balanced here on the thing at a dodgy this is not a professional vlogging moment but there we go that was mixed success i picked up my boots package which was good um the couple of things i needed though i don't know if anyone else finds this when you go shopping and you actually need a specific thing you can't get it so one of the things i needed was like a small bottle of the um micellar water you know the little garnier one with the pink lid and usually primark have it 
super drug boots wilkinson's like everywhere you can get it i could not get one anywhere i went to all of those places and a couple of them had the big bottles which i've already got one of but nowhere had the little tiny one <laughs> normally they all have it um so that was annoying and also there was like a oh the mini foam burst shower gel i wanted nowhere had that either i did get the other bits i needed i got a couple of other things um in primark i just got underwear i'm not going to show you that because that would be weird but let's do a mini car haul and i will show you the few bits that i got so i got a rose gold batiste i do actually have a big thing of this but it's like a huge one which is no good for travel so i just picked up the smaller one and it was on offer as well paracetamol and ibuprofen not exciting but when you're traveling you need to have these things on hand just in case i got a small version of the shore deodorant i think this is the yeah it's compressed i got some haribo for the plane i just got another little thing of these trainer socks from primark these are the sport ones they're kind of like a mesh material but they're made out of recycled plastic which is cool so i just got some of those because i wear them with my converse in the parks and one of the other things i needed was a leave-in conditioner and i got this one i was slightly upset by how much it was it was 12.99 which i know is probably not the worst thing but that just seems like a lot um, but it's specifically for blonde bleached hair and basically I need it for detangling I don't like it when I've just washed my hair if I don't put any leave-in conditioner it's really hard to brush and I feel like I'm damaging it so it's like damage control detangling heat protection humidity protection I thought that'd be good in Florida and um, so yeah I did get that as well and I also wanted to pick up something just to give my legs a little bit of color I have the whitest legs ever like if anyone's ever seen my Instagram photos when I'm in Florida it's terrible they're just i'm very very pale naturally and i don't really like fake tan because i find on very pale skin fake tan just can look very streaky very orange um even if you use one for lighter skin and if you wear converse high tops which i do it rubs off the tan around your ankles so if you then wear like a pair of sandals it just looks weird so i just wanted to get one of the moisturizers that has the tan like a very diluted amount of tan in it um, and i've had this one before the dove derma spa and this is for fair to medium skin so it's just like a moisturizer but it just has a slight bit of color to it and you build it up you kind of put it on each day and i went to the register this was in boots and it was three pound fifty and i was like that seems cheap and yeah it was actually on better than half price i think it was supposed to be um like eight pounds or something so that was a little win it made up for the fact that the um leave-in conditioner seemed expensive so i also got that and we will just have a quick look in the boots package to make sure that everything is there before i drive home because that would be super annoying if i did get home and something was missing although even if that did happen i guess i would have to contact boots head office rather than the store but let's just check anyway so the items i got i did get another set of the samantha lashes because they had an offer on their premium beauty these lashes are my absolute favorite but they are so expensive they're normally 16 or 17 pounds for one set depending where you buy them they don't come with glue either they're just very expensive but they're so good i don't know if you can kind of see them um they're the ones i've got on today so i did get some of those i think they were 12 pounds with the discount so that seemed good i got another lash glue i always get this one which is the duo brush on because it's easier to use and this is the anti-allergy one because i am allergic to the regular duo it puffs my eyes up really badly then i got myself another real techniques blending sponge these are always the ones i use and the one i have has just come to the end of its life they do get a bit uh, mangy after a while and i did get myself a little nail varnish a white um i do my nails using kate's gel kit that she's got and i will do that before i go to florida but sometimes you might get one that peels off or something and i just wanted to have a white that i could just quickly paint um the nail if anything if i do have any like disasters with it and finally i got the laura mercier flawless lumiere foundation this is my absolute favorite foundation i've tried so many over the years i used to always go for a full coverage foundation the problem is with that is the finish it tends to be very cakey and i don't love that whereas this one is more of a dewy finish but it does actually give good coverage and it stays on which is normally the problem with dewy foundations is they're not as long lasting but this one is great and this is in the shade beige i used to use cashew that's what i've got on today but it is just a little bit too dark for me whereas this one is like 0.5 of a shade lighter and it's just perfect um i did get two of these 
pounds which the cost of that was upsetting because this foundation i think is about 38 pounds but i got it for 28 i think with the discount so even at 28 i certainly didn't like buying two at once but a the discount was really good and secondly this particular shade is really hard to get hold of i find a lot of the retailers that sell it never seem to have beige and cashew is also hard to get hold of as well so while it was on offer i just thought i use it all the time i go through it all the time it really makes sense to get two even though it was painful buying two of these so that was everything i got from boots and both of these carrier bags have ripped um primark and boots now have paper carrier bags which i totally get i also think that that is very sensible for the environment but they just split open if you have more than like two items in there so that's not too good um so anyway that's my mini car haul we're going to go home now and um, get to some more packing start packing these items as well into like makeup bags and stuff um i'll show you some more of that when i get in i do need to eat something as well at some stage literally all i've eaten today was that thing in costa that chocolatey thing these days like this when i am just like zip 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 zipping everywhere i really should think ahead and maybe have like cereal bars in my bag i always used to do that and i haven't at the moment so maybe i need to uh figure that out anyway i will see you guys when i get back hello everyone it is a new day in fact it's evening it is the evening before I'm heading off to Heathrow to go to Florida. So I'm trying to get myself sorted out with finishing up all of my packing. I've just been to Becky's. I did take the camera with me because I was going to film a little bit while I was there and say hi. And I took the camera without the memory card. You would think that I would be better at not doing that. But in my defense, I'm rushing around. I'm trying to do a million different things. And I just forgot i didn't realize i hadn't put the memory card in so anyway i'm going to show you the ears that becky has made um i've just got them home now and then start getting everything into my suitcase i just had a delivery from amazon for my um, hard drive that i need to take with me because i need a lot of um, storage space to put all of the footage from every day so i needed a new one of those and yeah just getting myself ready to go i do need to do my nails i'm just debating um, whether or not I've got time to do them tonight or maybe I'll just leave it till the morning. I'm leaving it about midday so yeah I'm just just deciding I'm not sure and the other thing I just need to do is put on some of the Dove that I bought the um, kind of tanning bronzer glow. I'm going to put this on every day um, while I'm away and obviously from now before I go just to make sure that like I say it might just take the edge off um, my legs looking quite so white. So let me show you these ears that Becky made me. They are amazing. So you guys saw the lemon dress earlier in the vlog. Here are the ears. So it's the same fabric. Like I said I bought two of the dresses because I needed my mum to add some sleeves so Becky was able to use the rest. Actually she didn't use all of it. There was a lot of it left over um, to make these ears. They've obviously got the little lemon slice on. I love these. These are so nice. I can't wait to wear them to a flower and garden festival in Epcot. And this is the other pair that she made. These are the ones to go with the mint spotty dress that I showed you. So she's amazing at making these ears for me. I'm so grateful. I'm going to get her a nice present while I'm out in Florida. Um, so those are all ready to go now. So I need to get them into the ear bag. I am going to put my ears into the main suitcase. Normally I like to put them in a cabin bag but I'm not taking my cabin wheel along case this time so they're going to have to brave it in the main suitcase hopefully fingers crossed they will be okay and another essential that I'm not going to forget this time is the biscuit brew it's right here next to the suitcase so that it can't be forgotten this time and I also had my hair done today so um, it was basically underneath it really badly needed doing so it's all coloured now and ready for the trip and with that said I'm going to finish up this vlog I think I just wanted to do a quick vlog before I go away I do want to upload more regularly on this channel so I didn't want to leave it until I'm back so I know it was a short one because I've been rushing around but if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also over on Disney in detail if you're not already because the vlogs will be going up over there I think there's one episode episode left for the trip that I've just done and then of course the new ones will be happening so be sure to subscribe over there and if you want to follow along in real time the trip that we're about to do definitely follow me on Instagram and um, that's Disney in detail and I do also have another one for Victoria in detail so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're all doing well having a great day and I'll see you when I'm back from Florida bye